months. We showed up to Jamestown with six tracks, and before the end of the night, they asked to have us back. Well, I was a little incorrect. I thought it was going to be the super trucks up first, but I guess they've decided to move with the street stock. So street stocks are going to be the first class. So we'll talk about trucks again in about, oh, probably five, ten minutes. <laughs> However, tonight, street stocks, a very small count, only seven tonight. Now, this was a class just a few years ago that we saw a total of about, oh, 15 cars. Uh, tonight, just seven. And we're going to run down the list of cars as we take a look at our parade of vehicles. Uh, let's take a look. Starting off on the pole tonight, driving the 08, that is Barry Hicks on his outside in the 39 car. He's won a few times here, and last week when he won, it was just by a bumper. It's 39 of Sean Tunis in row number two. It's the 55 of Andy Martins, and on his outside, it's the uh, 80. He was the guy that came in second by that bumper. It is Jesse Peterson. Row three has the 88 of Cody Wall and the number 70 of Jesse Tunis. And finally, all by his lonesome on row number four, it's the 14 of Peter in. So a total of seven cars as we get ready here to go street stock racing. It looks like they're going to for sure get one more lap. And there's a car already having some problems. Poor Jesse Tunis needing a little push. Yeah, Jesse's been struggling with that car lately. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. It's engine or fuel delivery issues of some kind. And I talked to him on the weekend, and he uh, he wasn't sure what it was, and apparently he's still not sure. That's that's unfortunate. Jesse's a really good kid. You know, they built that chassis themselves in their shop, and uh, he's definitely doing it, you know, on his own dime. And that's too bad. I hope he gets that figured out soon. And that's hard, eh? I guess when you're a race car driver, when you um, you don't have huge sponsors backing you. I mean, a lot of small sponsors, and that all every dollar helps. But uh, when you're putting money out of your own pocket week after week to make sure you can go racing, it can be quite expensive, can't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. When it, uh, you know, you got to decide whether you want a new tire or pay your cell phone bill. That's, uh, <laughs> that decision has been made before in my house, I can tell you that. Street Stocks getting ready to go here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Thank you for joining us on, our, on this NLRA night here at the track. Just so you know, if we do bump out in power, uh, we will let you know because we just had a power bump about five minutes before broadcast time. We did get back up on air. We did have to make some power changes here to make sure uh, we can bring you the broadcast. But it is extremely hot here in Manitoba tonight, and we're in a hot booth. And let's see if we see some hot racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Green flags are flying. And we're racing. The 39 and the 80 just got shot out of a cannon from the high line there. Look at them go. Yes, it's, it's a repeat of last week. It's the 39 car. Uh, Sean Tunis in first spot. In the in second spot, it's the 80 of Jesse Peterson. And a bit of a race for third as three cars were starting to spread out as they were going into turn three. Right now, in sole possession of that third spot, though, it's the 88 of Cody Wall. Next, and the 55 of Andy Martin. They're duking it out for fourth spot. Looks like Sean's checking out with this one. He's uh, he's gone. Usually Peterson can hang with him, so we'll see what happens here as the race unfolds. A very unique look for a street stock, isn't it? Uh, the uh, 39 car. I absolutely love it. Uh, both those leading cars look so different. That 80 car with the AMC javelin body on it. It's uh, such a cool looking thing. I love that kind of stuff. You know, I've, it was always just 86 Monte Carlos, the metric Monte Carlo. And, that's a really cool looking thing. Did, did you get into the street stock class when you started here, or did you start? Uh, my brother Jerome was racing street stocks. I got to race his car a few times, but uh, never uh, campaigned my own. Looks like the 80 is slowing, though. The 80 is having trouble. problems with going into turn one, and we've got a little bit of a race for second spot here. Peterson, the 88 of Cody Wall, fighting for second spot, and the 55 is hot on their heels. That's Andy Martins. Our leader, though, is the 39 car. He's got four laps to go in this heat race here in the street stock class. Well, it looks like Peterson's got this problem just figured out as uh, Martins puts it to the inside of the wall and one and two. He doesn't make the pass. Tunis has checked out with this one. He's just about in a different poster for it right now. You see Tunis' car just about on rails. That thing is driving nice. Two laps to go for our leader. That's Sean Tunis, the number 80 car, Jesse Peterson. 
is in second, but the fight is in for third spot as the 55 and the 88 are duking it out. That's Cody Wall and the 55 car of Andy Martins. Our leader going around turn four, Sean Tudis driving the 39, gets the white flag. He's got one lap to go. Floating that thing around. Turn four, coming to the win. Good and job, Sean. Another deep win for our leader here in the uh, street stock class. That is Sean Tunis. He's leading the points. He finishes this one. The number two spot will go to the 80 car of Jesse Peterson. The 55. Looks like he comes in third, followed by the 88 car. And that will wrap up our races here at Red River Co-op Speedway for the heat class of the street stocks. You know, heat wins are important when it comes down to championship racing. That's something that I always struggled with a little bit, where instead of just making the transfer and coming in fourth, winning your heat, one point in the heat is worth as much as any other position in the feature. Uh, you know, one point for each spot except from first to second, so it makes a big difference. And if you're a guy like Jesse Peterson right now that's 10 points behind Sean Tunis, you are looking at every one of those heat races and thinking how important they are, aren't they? Absolutely. Well, the uh, racing for the Street Stock class has Sean Tunis currently in first spot going.